Or blueberries. Super duper, and you're a super guy. You're a really interesting guy, Ed. That's seriously. I'm trying to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> so we had the Denario Malbec in the Classic Series. Mm-hmm. And now here's the Reserve, which mm-hmm. means it's been in the thing. Rio Negro, Patagonia. Now, Patagonia is an interesting place because that's where wow. Mr. Piero Vincenza is growing his Pinot Noir, which is really unusual. Yes, very unusual. And I and have yet to taste a... one that's any good. <laughs> but, oh, oh my, this is really a, well, an incredible bottle of wine. Talk about Bordeaux esque. Very. Now, you tell me this doesn't smell like Cabernet. Totally. Okay. And, I mean, and then uh, taste it. You don't think it's some. Well, you figure there's Cabernet in it, and there may be, but I, I, I don't know what the laws are in Argentina. I think you can add uh, different grapes and still call it the same grape. Mm. What a great version of an aged Malbec. That is absolutely spectacular. That really has some depth of flavor to it. Well, you know what I like about it? Because the difference is the reason it's been aged in oak, obviously, for a couple of years, probably. And it, it's not like jumping out of the glass of oak. It's just really soft. It's a very soft version of the one we tasted. The well, but it's got some authority to it. This ain't no wimpy wine. You know, you ain't going to have this with your filet of sole and lemon butter sauce, okay? <laughs> You're still going to need something hefty to go with it. You know, yeah, it's softer than the other one, but it's still got some depth and breadth to it. It's not mag- magnificent. I, think a, I love the balance, I think you a know? charred New York, with, uh, but, a, but rare. Of course. How else would you do it? I don't know. Or, or duck confit. Yeah, we had some duck... Uh, <laughs> We have duck the other day. It was really good. You're right, though. Duck would be really good with this. Oh, I've been having. I've had duck like four times in the last two weeks. This stuff is. I'm. I'm a 98 here. Maybe 99. I don't know. 60, 99. That's a killer bottle of mm. wine for that kind of. Wine. The kit. You know what's interesting? Because even though it's a blockbuster and you really want, it's really big, you still want to taste it again. Yeah. You know, this is my thing, Ed. What's your thing, Paul? <sighs> Jeez. As we peel back the in our podcast wine talks, and we peel back the charlatans out in the industry and the crap that's out there, let me ask you this question. Go ahead. You have you're having a wine dinner coming up with your friends, right? Our friends Jim, uh, James, and uh, who's a Richard uh, and a uh, Richard's coming too. Richard's coming too. Wow. So yeah, the whole game. These are all local unifiles uh, and and foodies, uh, but die in the wool guys, not uh, not nouveau guys, right? And you do that because you're going to make some nice food and meal, and you're going to drink some wine, and you're going to emote. Now, you're going to emote about the wine more than most people would, but when you people just emote because they, they get together, their friends, their family, they have a glass of wine, and that's the experience, right? It's like the same idea when people come back from Italy and they go, get me a case of that Chianti I had when I was in Siena. <laughs> and then they go, it doesn't taste the same. Duh. <laughs> because the experience is different, right? So wine's about experience, and it can't be. It can't be the experience of wine is I got it so cheap, right? The experience well, of course not. Has, no, right? no, but that's no, what that's all. what they're putting on the internet. Groupon. That's true. And, it, and you can't emote in this conversation with a nice meal with crap wine. You just can't do it. You, no. The emotion is, mm, I can't finish this. Not, wow, what is this? Or in this case, we were talking about the finish and this complexity. That, that's what it's about. And people, people understand that intuitively it's not something they express necessarily but they understand when they have a bad glass of wine or wine is substandard that it doesn't create any emotion well and why it, louis pasteur it, it and all those people negative quoted, <laughs> emotion it's, it's got to be a positive experience and that's what this company does as opposed to you know 12 wines for 60 bucks on groupon you can't get it you can't get that experience all you can say at the party at the party is i got this for five bucks oh it's <laughs> not worth great, that that's a great experience yeah